Yeah, guys, Neo investors, Neo swing traders, Neo day traders, Neo shorters. Welcome to another Neo video from London Investor Tips. In this video, I'm going to talk about Neo highest price 2030. Highest price, guys. Well, I've been a bit conservative with the price. Uh, worked out kind of a reasonable price but we can we can go a lot higher because this video is about the highest price so first of all i'm going to show you the figures for what, what i've worked out what should be you know reasonable what neo stock price i'm going to show you year by year guys right i'm going to show you year by year what i've worked out and then um we can talk about the highest price, right? So it's not really relevant to the chart, but let's just look at the chart anyway, because I've been out. I've just eaten, right? Chinese. I've just eaten Chinese, the neo Chinese. <laughs> right? So the stock's been going down a little bit, but as I speak, it's like hovering between $4.69, $4.73. Right, round about that range. Let's just check. That's the one month chart you're looking at there. Let me just change it on the one day chart, guys. So this is a one day chart. It's actually been, it's been as high as 488 and as low so far today. I think the trading is going to end soon, but there'll be um, aftermarket trading. Low as 461. So it's within range. It's still heading up kind of, or I might finish on a red day. Anyway, guys, it's the 25th, 25th, right, so 25th of November, 2024, coming up to 55 minutes past 8 p.m. in the UK time. And that's how it's looking at the moment for the NEO, NEO stock, NEO stock, NEO stock, right? So, firstly, you see my previous video I went over some like key points of why I bought Neo stock and why I'm adding to my position so after this video see that video you know <clears throat> gone over some key points there and also the previous video I went over some points about um, focusing on the tech just on the tech about Neo uh, one of it, one of the other videos you should listen to, right? Because I've done a lot of research, as I say. Um, anyway, guys, like just on the basis of, let's get into it, guys. Right? I'm going to show you what I've worked out. I'm going to get, like, on the basis of this is not including like extra extra revenues, right? From Neo, you know, from their tech from their AI in nano chips, right? Well, I've, I've spoken about that a lot in, my, in, in one of my previous videos. So I'm not going to go into all the details about that. It's basically their five nanometer, you know, advanced um, technology, AI nano, nanometer, right? Um, which is all coming out 2025 in, in it been incorporated in their ET9 sedan in 2025. It's uh, referred to as NX9031. Not going to get into all that, right? Because I've spoken a lot about that in one of my previous videos. If you're interested in that, see my previous video. But I'm just going to... And I'm not going to... This is just based on vehicle sales, right? It's not really based on extra revenue they can make from parts selling parts and also you know coffees maybe food in the battery swap stations and also revenues from battery swaps it's just based on and not and this is not based on even accessories right they can sell for vehicles this is literally just based on year on year i've just but the last year was 35 percent year on year sales increase right but as we know near from neo they're gonna it's gonna they're gonna go warp speed right they're gonna go you know overdrive they're gonna be selling like 
their production is going to be working over, uh, you know, over going in overdrive and delivering vehicles. Tens of thousands, they said, right? Tens of thousands. So you don't need me to tell you that 35% year on year is going to be a lot higher. But look, I've just averaged it out to 40%. Yeah, I don't want to be too too overly optimistic putting um you know a big price on it so if we start on that basis 40 percent year on year obviously like it could be higher some years could be a lot higher as well and then we're going to talk about like how we get to a higher price by 20 you know 2030 so if we start like assuming on that basis neo stock you know the neo company sales just sales on their vehicles increase on average just on average guys 40 percent but they're going to increase a lot more right so this is what i've worked out yeah so it's assuming 40 percent and i'm going to start with 15 dollars in 2024 because first of all i think 15 dollars is what the stock price should be now right it shouldn't be five dollars it should be fifteen dollars, right? Because if you if you if you go back and analyze the price action and take into account, you know, it went to sixty-seven dollars to come back down, and then remove that sixty-seven dollars. Like if you go right back and just analyze it, you and know knowing what you know, what we know about Neo now, the stock price really it should be at fifteen dollars, right? So I'm going to start on that basis. Even though, you know, stock price should be around about there, right? I mean, you see them other companies, US based, you know, US listed EVs, they're a lot higher, right? So I'm going to start it on $15. I know you might say, well, it isn't $15, but it should be, guys. And I've been like, you know, conservative with a 40% year on year increase, because obviously, some years, as I say, is going to it's going to be higher than forty percent, a lot higher, right? So, for instance, next year, next year, twenty twenty five is going to be a lot higher than forty percent. They make it tens of thousands are going to be probably like you know, could be like one hundred and fifty percent. But this is what I'm 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 kind of like looking at now, right? So I'm going to start at fifteen dollars. Plus forty percent gets us to twenty one dollars in twenty twenty five, and then twenty nine dollars forty twenty twenty six. It's always forty percent, but obviously some years going to be higher. So forty one dollars sixteen in twenty twenty seven, and then fifty seven dollars point know, sixty two cents in twenty twenty eight, and twenty twenty nine it's going to be eighty dollars sixty seven cents, and then. In 2030, it's going to be $112.94, right? So it's based on that 40% average year on year sales. Only the sales of the vehicles, right, guys? Only the sales of the vehicles. And I, I start, I did start off higher, obviously $15. So that You have to factor that in as well. But even if you start at $5, right, it's still going to work out. We're going to be well over $60, by 2030 that's just based on car sales right now if we factor in all the other aspects of profitability like including um including accessories including parts including you know including accessories including parts for the vehicles you're talking about tens of thousands of vehicles guys you can imagine how many parts they're going to sell like parts, you know, like serviceable parts. And then when cars have like, you know, accidents or scrapes or whatever, they're going to replace, you know, like wings, doors and wing mirrors and all sorts, right? And, and also wheels, tires and everything. So then, and, and then on top of that, right, you've got like um, the technology, right? You know, the, um, the AI, you know, the nanobot chips and everything. And then you've got, you know, battery swap, revenues from that, and then coffees, maybe food and everything. You can, you can at least double, if not treble it, right? Treble these figures, right? If we, tre if we, if we be conservative about it, right? And we say, 
if we double it based on this based on this figure then we're looking at 220 roughly 220 say 200 say 225 right 225 225 dollars by 2030 that's being really really conservative because that you know those chips can make the company 10 20 times more than all the vehicles right selling those chips to other companies you see that in it with nvidia right so if neo could be the new nvidia and then also you you got which i haven't mentioned you got the phones right you got a factor in the phones they make phones and they've got other models coming out and everything right and don't forget they're expanding into other countries so this is a conservative figure guys this is based on double right this is based on a times two of this and all this is based on, as I say, 40% year on year, just based on car sales, let alone all the other things they can make money off of. So if you think that this is a conservative figure for 2030, $225, realistically, right, you could X4 this, you could X4 this figure based on all what I've mentioned, the other things they can make money off of, right? So that's how you can easily get to four, what's that, 440, 450. That's how you can easily get to around 450. Um, this is being conservative, right? You can get to 450 by 2030. If all those, you know, increases are at least 40%. And then if they're higher than 40%, guys, right? If one year you're going to get 150% and another year 80%, another year 100%, whatever, then you could X, like this figure here, 450, you could probably X3 it again from there. So then you could be looking at, you know, what, 1300, 1350. If you X3 it, right, what's that, about 1350, right? So that is my kind of like, I'm being conservative with these numbers. Um, that's my kind of like ballpark kind of area based on all what's known, right? But if you think, oh, no, no, it's not going to go X3 there, you've gone too high and you've gone too high here, well, then I think this is really conservative. This is underestimating. This is like what it's going to be, in my opinion, not financial advice. This is like what you should be thinking of as a minimum, as a minimum, all goes to plan with the battery swaps the profits from the battery swaps profits from the parts profits from the accessories profits from you know coffees you know beverages and food and then profits from the you know the um chips the tech right so so you know and look at look how i've been conservative 40 percent year on year is conservative right so this is a minimum, guys. This 112 is a minimum. So 112. And I'm not even talking about a pump, right? If this was pumped, let's say if it wasn't pumped and it grew, it, it grew to like, you know, 1350, right? If it grew to 1350, but it was pumped at any one point, it could be X3, X4 of that. So you could be looking at, you know, possibly... 5,000, you could be looking at 5,000, stock price of 5,000. This is based on, like, if there was no splits, right? If there was no splits, etc. So that's how you could get to 5,000, right? Or if it was pumped at an early stage, you could get to $1,500 stock price. But, as I say, guys, like, if, if everything went according to plan... And Neo stock really went to, you know, like basically went like made profits on everything, right? And kept up production and production numbers increased. As I said, year on year, at least forty percent, but some years it's gonna be a lot more than that, right? Right. Some like, like next year I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot higher, a lot, lot higher, right? 
going to be probably 150%, something like that. Maybe even more, maybe even more. So that's how I think that, you know, you're going to be looking at between $112 by 2030 to possibly as high as, I don't know, $1,350, guys. As I said, in any pump, based on a higher estimate, you could be looking at $5,000, if not higher. So that's how, that's how I've reached, like, that's how I've kind of like, this is all sort of ballpark, right? Because we don't know how it's going to pan out, but we do know the plans of NEO, and we do know what NEO do, and what they don't do. So if we basically go off those, you know, like that information, that's that's how we can kind of like get to that you know that figure between 112 to 1350. If we go somewhere between the two, then we can get for, for like five six hundred dollars, you know. And I can't see why not. I can't see why not, especially like once you know a lot of the big company like stockholders once they start buying Neo big and, and a lot of more big players come in you know big money piles into neo big investors and um hedge funds banks institutions etc once they load up on neo then that's how that's where i see the stock price going guys right that's how i see the stock price going of neo in the future by 2030 right so as I said, I started with fifteen dollars, but it makes no difference if I if I start with five dollars. It's not going to put, it's not going to reduce the overall amounts by much, right? But the reason I started with fifteen dollars because I'm starting this chart what I've just created based on if it, like where the stock price should be, where I think it should be now, fifteen dollars, and it could be fifteen dollars before the end of twenty twenty four, right? Or just at the turn of 2025. So I'm going on that basis, $15. I'm not going to start at $5. I don't think it's worth, like, I think it's undervalued, right? But in any case, even if, as I say, even if we start Neo at the current price, just under $5, it's still going to be within that, you know, it's, it's, it's still going to be within that range, right? Even if you take off a third, even if you take off, Sorry, even if you take off two thirds of all those prices, right? You still, if you, if the high mid range is going to anywhere between one hundred and twelve to thirteen fifty, if the high mid range is going to be like five six hundred, you take off two thirds, so it's still going to be around four hundred, three fifty four hundred, right? And and a and a lower range still is going to be a hundred. That, that's it guys like that's the way i've worked it out you've got to factor in everything neo's doing neo's just not like you know like a ford or you know even a bmw per se it's a, it's a lifestyle it's got the, you've got the battery you know battery swapping stations you can have a neo coffee you don't have bmw coffee you know what i mean when you when you go and charge your bmw wherever if you've got electric bmw you don't go and have a BMW coffee. Neo got a Neo coffee, Neo drinks, right? We'll have Neo food, Neo accessories. Who knows what else they can, like, you know, create, right? They could create Neo holidays, Neo Neo hotels, etc., 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 right? So it's, um, you know what I mean? The Neo's advancing, guys. They're not, they're not, they're not staying, they're not static, right? They're not going, they're not static, they're not going backwards. Like, look, we see car manufacturers, like, going out, you know, fading away, like Jaguar, right? We see, we see like, Jaguar, they don't know what they're doing, right? Clueless. But you've got Chinese EV makers, they're progressive, right? They're building lovely, you know, lovely looking cars, of high technology and building them fast, right? And they're progressive and they've got like, you know, high-end technology. 
the battery swaps and, and, and the chips, right? So when you factor in like Neo could be, you know, the next NVIDIA, let alone selling a lot more cars in the future, a lot more EVs and then putting everything else and then thinking about other EV manufacturers could be using, could be in, like, you know, installing um, Neo batteries or Neo type batteries in their own vehicles to use the Neo network, the Neo battery swap network, right? So if you think about all that, you can see that really, even my high estimate, right? My high estimate of $1,350 by 2030 is low, is low, guys. It's got to be low, right? Think about how many battery swaps going to take place on a daily basis times how much people are paying you know some people pay there and then some people pay monthly some people are paying like to get it all included they're paying more on, on you know when they purchase the vehicle but think about all the other vehicles if, all, if, if a lot of other vehicles use the battery swap right if they incorporate if the other manufacturers incorporate Neo, Neo batteries, Neo type batteries, the docking stations under Neo, you know, like how Neo operate in their vehicles, right? If they incorporate that in their own manufactured vehicles, so they're able to be swapped as well, and Neo basically becomes the gas stations. It becomes it becomes the fuel stations of the whole of China. Now that is that is worth billions, right, guys? Billions. So, so when I come up with these estimates, you know they're very very conservative, because if you think if you think like Neo, the next Nvidia, let alone possibly the next Apple, the next the next Tesla, and, and everything else all in one, right? Then ten thousand stock price as a as a super high estimate is realistic. It's not unrealistic, guys. It's realistic. You just got to see see how big Neo can become, right? So that's how I've worked it out, guys, and that I've given my reasons. Now I'd like to know what your thoughts are in the comments. Leave comments, like the video, share the video, share the video on the stock tweets and Yahoo conversations and all other trading platforms that have blogs, you know, chat rooms, messaging, comments section, whatever. And let me know, guys. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know what price <laughs> you, you think Neo is going to be by 2030. Realistically, right? Realistically. I want to know what you think. Work it all out, guys. But think, don't just think about EVs, Neo, and what Neo where they are today. And don't just look at their stock price today. Look at what Neo is going to become by 2030. Think it through, guys. Think it through. Don't just think, oh, yeah, yeah, it's 470, you know. Gonna be gonna be like eight that eight dollars nine dollars, you know. Think it through what they all what they're doing and the, the potential, right? The possibilities. Think it through and give me a good ballpark estimate between between X, you know, X and Z, like X and X Y Z, you know, A and B, or A to C. Let me know your thoughts, guys. On on. And what you think. Because that's what I think, guys. Like, you, you've seen it. How I've worked it out. But I've based my my estimates, you know. I've been conservative, right? I've considered all the business. The business model. And the increases moving forward year on year. And I've been conservative working this out. Right? Even, even like, if I just say, oh, they're not going to be... Not, like not going to do too much blah, 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 and everything. I'm still going to get to $100. At the worst ways, right, the worst possible case scenario, 
I'm going to come up with $100 by 2030. In a worst, lowest case scenario, like, has to, has to, right? That's that, an absolute minimum, right? It just has to. That's just the worst case. The mid-range case, as I said, like 400, 450. And then a high case, you'll be looking at roughly 1,000, maybe 13, 50. And then if it was, if they, if, if it took off, like, you know, with their, like, you know, their nanotechnology, if that took off and battery swaps, etc., with other manufacturers, then, and everything was pumped as well, then it's not inconceivable that a stock price, you know, Neo stock price could reach easily $10,000. Not going to say it would stay at ten thousand, based on the current number of shares in issue, but it's possible it could be pumped that high, because if it, if it already can get up to a thousand dollars, let's say by twenty thirty, and then it's pumped at that point, so it could easily do an X ten uh, from a thousand dollars to go ten thousand dollars. That's my point I'm making, and then it could come back down to a thousand, right? So. That's the point I'm making with Neo. So you've got to factor in everything, all the possibilities. So anyway, guys, don't forget to like the video, share the video, right? Share the video because it's uh, retail, retail investors that you know matter in this um, in this stock Neo stock, guys. And um, not financial advice, right? Just my opinion. Not financial advice. But um, I'll be adding to my position. I'll be adding to my position, right, guys? So I've already bought more. I'll be adding, adding, adding. So uh, let me know, guys, and see you in the next video.